guys, it's Caleb. Today I'm talking about behind the scenes facts and stuff from my recent LEGO Spongebob video, 12 Days of Taxes. I didn't use the Daily Caleb intro in this episode, just like I didn't put in the LEGO Spongebob theme song. You thought it was a creative choice? N no, uh, I'm just really lazy. I'll put it in whenever I make like a compilation of my 2021 LEGO videos. Do you hypothetically have any ideas on how to hypothetically raise that kind of hypothetical money within the next hypothetical two weeks? Well, I'd start a charity. People always donate to those around Christmas time. Great idea! I'll get to that right away! Hypothetically! The hypothetical quote is one of my favorite lines from the episode. It mainly consists of just a couple images of Mr. Krabs as I loop back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. I also really like using the Mr. Krabs walking sound effect. I feel like it lines up with the animation really well a lot of the time, and I overall find the sound of it hilarious. Mr. Krabs is not actually using a Salvation Army belt here. He's using a cup that I turned upside down. I find it fun reusing pieces to create new things. For example, in episode 2, when I used what in the original set was supposed to be like a framed picture of Patrick, I turned it into the cover for his autobiography. The bell you hear is not actually a sound effect I downloaded online, unlike many other sound effects that I use in this show. It's actually a real bell that my family owns for some reason or another. Shut up. I used it to create what is called a Foley effect, meaning the sound is made Foley by me. I've had a dream, a vision, a picture of the world without me in it. People living without Krabby Patties, can you imagine that? Hmm. Something actually changed somewhat late in the production. It was only made the way it was in the final draft of the script. The episode was originally going to end with Bob making Mr. Krabs like cook a ton of Krabby Patties, enough to pay back the money that he owes, but we felt like it didn't really fit with the way his character had actively been trying to raise the money throughout the episode, and then felt like manual labor wasn't really a way for it to end. My dad had the idea to do an It's a Wonderful Life parody, and we both think it came out really well. Sure, it could have done a scene of him actually seeing life in Bikini Bottom without him, but I feel like it would have really ruined the pacing of the episode. I think It's a Wonderful Life is a classic Christmas movie, and I loved adapting it in this episode. Hope you got some neat insight from this video. I always enjoy doing these types of commentaries the, the two times I've done them. Thanks for watching. Caleb out. The subtle gag I like the most is when all the fish are singing, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, like in It's a Wonderful Life, and Squidward is just in the background. Not singing a single note, he's just completely still. I might have just gotten rid of the subtlety, but I also didn't want to go unnoticed, so whatever. Bye.